Hmm. Oh, sucks. <laughs> Pressure. Woo! You know when you are a hot pot. We are lime, we are love, we are chat, we no chill, we are hot pot. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Daniel Loveless, and welcome to Hot Ones Caribbean. It's that show with the hot questions and even hotter wings. Today, we welcome the Trini Bad man himself, Jelano. Easily. With an audience of over 100,000 persons, Trinidad singer Jelano is one of Trinidad and Tobago's top reggae dancehall stars and an emerging force on the international dancehall scene. An African Entertainment Awards nominee, this chart topper is known for his hits such as We Badness Expensive, War Them Want, and Come From Nothing. Jelano, yeah, man. welcome to the Hot Ones. Good to be here, good to be here. How is your pepper tolerance, Jelano? Well, um, let me just say I just put pepper in everything I eat. Even ice cream? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, eat an ice cream. Scorpion pepper. ice cream. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have an assortment of 10 wings here today. I've seen that. And we're going to test out to see if you're, if you're really a hot one. Well, yeah. Use it up too, right? Of course. So both are eaten. Of course. All right, there you go. Today we're starting off with the peri peri tamarind and bird pepper sauce. Tamarind as in tamarind ball? Tamarind as in tamarind ball indeed. <laughs> so it might be a little sweet because we like to start the thing slow now. You know, we don't want to start it off too hot. I ain't smelling no pepper in Although it's hot ones. All right. Well, let's try it out, man. Make it more sweet than hot. Already when you're ready. I eat it. You're ready, boy. You wish and go. Man, I'm stuck in a tub. Nah! Nah, 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 nah. The first wing and the coffin already. Nah, sorry. Um, my palate was a little dry right now. It was a little dry. I understand, I understand. You had to get that water, boy. <laughs> nah, Jill, I know. I really thought your pepper tolerance was good, boy. Nah, that's good, that's good. When they say they eat pepper with everything? Everything now is, is just how I the first one. Man. Oh. And, and now eating pepper for the day too. So. You know we eating pepper for the mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Gelano things are pumping for you right now. Doing a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, that's Reggae, true. dance all, a little mixture of everything. Recently had a mega hit with Ravi B. With yeah. over 1.2 million views on YouTube. Yeah, right now people are really loving that song. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about rum and the Caribbean, but anything to do with rum, we love it. How does this success feel? Well, it, it has its ups and downs, but I'm grateful for all the good that it has come with, mm -hmm. you know? Because in life, you must have obstacles, right? And in everything you're aspiring to be great in, you just have to try your best, you know? So I'm just grateful for being able to try my best and succeed with it. I mean, you've been trying your best for a number of years and you've yeah, landed you. I really have. A real you. fight to reach here, a real fight. Wow. Life. Real fight. So there's a landed you, all this fight and all this struggle has landed you with a collaboration with Ravi With B. Ravi B, the legend. Tell me a bit about the backstory behind this collaboration. Well, it's really because of Ravi B, it happened, you know. He reached out to us and he was like, you know, he wanted to do something different. And he sent a demo for me and when I heard it, I was like, yeah, this the song and like I could do something with it, you know. And I wasn't going and refuse an opportunity to do something with Ravi B, you know, so. It does happen like that. And I must admit, I mean, the song was really nice. I mean, before before I heard the song, mm -hmm. I was like, Rafi B and Jelano. Because everybody, really, everybody. You all released some teasers on social media. Yeah, like, well, it kind of leaked. You know, somebody mm -hmm. leaked a video. Someone was there while we were filming the video. And they leaked a little piece of it. But it do a good because, just because of how people was talking and bickering about it, it make it, it, it end up an interest for right. the people, you know? So when the video dropped, it just skyrocketed one time. And you all made the decision to release the song on radio before actually <coughs> releasing the song? Yeah, we did. Wow, we did. how come? Well, what I go say, that is some management that's really deal with. I'm not really sure right. what was behind that. But that is just the procedures in releasing music, you know. You Wonderful. go on the platforms that had the, the people listening, you know, and radio stations is the whole country and the world. So. Absolutely. So congratulations on that collaboration with Ravi yeah, B. Yeah, 
And um, I know that you were selected um, to perform at the International Soka Mona. Yeah, that was like a dream come true. A dream, you say? Yeah, I mean, to perform on Soka Mona stage. Mm -hmm. I'd have never imagined that really happening for me, you know. And I ain't even sing a Soka. Yeah, they, so, it's something that was special to me. I will never what you sang? I sang, I believe, I sang more than once. Mm -hmm. um, I sang Need a Change and I sang Badness Expensive. And from a person who, who um, will be accustomed to performing for a crowd who you know, primarily enjoys the reggae or mm -hmm. primarily enjoys the soca mm -hmm. or primarily enjoys the, you know, the Trini Badi dancehall, mm -hmm. how was it performing for a crowd who enjoyed soca music? Well, what I could say is because it's Trinidad people, the response was just as any other performance because in in Soka Monarch, people was like waiting for us to come, you know, we was, there was a talk going around that we come in and perform and plenty of the people who was there wasn't really even there for the Soka. But they came there you. to see us, you know what I mean? Wow. So, I, I mean, you know, it was, it was nice, it was nice. Soka Monarch stage, it was a, a real good experience for me. Yeah. Well, on the topic of performance, mm -hmm. I want to see how you'll perform under this, under this next source. <laughs> So we're gonna move on now to the totally tasty basili hot sauce. I just yellow one here, right? Mm -hmm. You put tasty. Are you familiar with the with the meaning of the of the word basili? Basili? Mm -hmm. That is them girl that's do that, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A girl do that already, or? I ain't sure. I, I ain't sure. I I know how is the full extent of basili. You know, when I say basili, I like what? Explain nothing, man. Well, you know the word actually means confused. Confused. So when they eat this sauce, they just say this guy confused because <laughs> it's confusingly tasty now. So let me taste it and see what's going on with it now, man. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me. This one ain't so hot, man. This one ain't so hot, man. I could use this whole thing, man. You know what? Well, the first one had him more confused. <laughs> you know what shocked me, boy? It shocked me when I realized that Jelano was a pan man. Because if somebody to tell me that hey, this man, this man is a pan, man, I that's hard to tell them the lie. But that yeah. shocked me, Jelano Pan. Yeah, well, I mean, that is the national instrument, so it's a plus. When I used to go to school, I was like about seven years, and I used to live around Desperado, Spaniard. So I was coming home from school, Adi. But yeah, at seven years in the ghetto, you'll be coming home from school by yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I was coming home and we passed by the community center and I look in and I see a little boy standing behind a pan. So I like, but he's looking like my age. I walk in the center, I see him. I, I stand up and I watch him playing and he was playing Silent Night. I don't know if you know that song. Yes, I do. Come down, man, Jelano, man. Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, I just have to. But yeah. <laughs> he was playing Silent Night and the tutor mm -hmm. was standing behind him. When I walk in, I just say good afternoon, but I stand up watching. I was. Taken, you know, because I never see a little boy like me play pan. Right. So the thing, but like the tutor did realize what was going on with my interest. So he take the boy and he came in the back, and he, the lady sticks in the pan. And when he come out now, he end up stopping me because I playing Silent Night out eh? mm. Yeah, understand? Mm. Without them showing me, so it kind of like it was like that with me and pan. from the first time I hold a pan sticks, the tutor even said the way I play the pan is something that you just have to learn to do. Wow. He's had to learn how to roll and out. He said from the time I pick up the sticks, I was it was embedded in me then, you know? So Wow, just now. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that pepper bun in here across the Well I'll give you a little break. I'm glad you mentioned uh, that that the pan is actually the national instrument of Trinidad yes, and Tobago. Is. And it's actually the only acoustic instrument that was invented in the 20th century and the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. People visit Trinidad and Tobago from all over the world just to experience the steel pan. You go over there now, right? I see that papa was born in here, so I Trying. needed to give you a little, a little interlude now. Good looking out. You still play pan, sir? I can, mm -hmm. but it's a while I ain't touch a pan. And is there a place for pan in Trinidad music? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the rhythms does have pan music in it. I mean, Cozy here does use a lot of pan. And all his rhythms does have pan. Kelly Beats does use a little pan. I know it's according to the producer, but... And these like are other Trinidad singers, right? Yeah, well, producers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, I must ask you, what do you define for international viewers? What is Trinidad music? Trinidad music is Trinidadian dancehall music. Okay. With a strong Jamaican influence. Okay. 
And where the name came from? Like who coined the term believe, Trinibad? Well, to me, Trinibad. The first person I heard saying Trinibad was Prince Swanee. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I saw Pun had a label with it. Right. But to say like to say the word itself, even in the music, mm-hmm. Prince Swanee was the first person I heard saying that. And did being a panist help mold you into being the performing artist that you are today? Yes, I, I mean it, it did a lot for me because I have been to two different panoramas and it has taken it has taken a lot to reach on the stage to play, not only um qualifying in as a band but qualifying as a player to play with the band alone. Right. It's something that be a challenge for players. A lot because, of preparation. Yeah, because I mean, there's a certain amount of players you could have. So sometimes players just have to get jobs, so it's the best player who get to reach any stage. Right. You know, and Desper- Desperados used to get players from foreign and around the Caribbean, every panorama. They used to fly in to play with the band. Because them is crack shot, them learning the tune in a day when you <laughs> you training. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. They have learned it One that day. day. Yeah. yeah. So you know you have to come and step up your game when them reach. Yeah, but pan pan make me be the versatile performer that I am. Wonderful. From being on stage from so small coming up, you know. Well, that's good to know how pan has you know impacted your career. It's really really good to know. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the National Lottery's Control Board. Now let's create benefits. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by Be Mobile. So we're gonna take it up another level. As we feature yeah. the Maggi spicy with shadow Benny pepper sauce. You like shadow Benny? What do you mean? That's something proper here, yeah, man. That will be beaten on. Let me try it out and see that, man. All right. Don't eat all in it because you know you might have to take a second dip. How it going over there? Oh, yeah, this one nice, isn't it? It's nice. This one tastes it's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one had it taste. Had it taste, had it taste. So you like it? Watch it. I like that. Watch out, it, sir. Eating up them wings, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, eat I mean, all in, don't worry, we are real wings, man. Yeah, man, big up Zaf's wings one time. <laughs> nah, that pepper, dude. Got some seasoning in that one. If you had to describe the pepper sauce in one word, which word it would be? Heaven. Heaven. I like that. <laughs> no, I want to congratulate you for, um, for, uh, for being awarded as a nominee within the African Entertainment Awards, US yeah. Awards, right alongside. That was. That make me feel a little special, you know, to mm-hmm. see a guy acknowledge outside of Trinidad for something like that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, oh, alongside some of the big names as yep, well, yep. Davido, Buna Boy, Whiskey. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I mean, even though you didn't win the category, I think mm-hmm. I think the acknowledgement but, but is still, a win. Still, I believe it was KG. It's KG. KG won an award because mm-hmm. he was Which in one? the. Which one? He won Best Male Artist. Wow. Mm-hmm. So shouts to KG. No, and I mean, you did win as well because the acknowledgement in yeah, itself yeah, yeah. was a win. For sure, for sure. I had a lot of people on my side too. A lot of people was showing me there was voting and things. Give thanks for that, you know. But we win some, we lose some, but... You're breathing in hard over there, but that <laughs> pepper, the pepper is burning, yeah. It's burning, it's burning. Don't oh, worry, man, I good, I good. Don't worry, we have some enjoy milk here if you need some, if you need some milk, too, you know. I might not reach that milk. You I sure? Don't. We go see. I might reach that. <laughs> what did that nomination do for your career, Jelano? Well, it made a lot of different people who I've never spoken to before. They kind of reached out to me to congratulate me. A lot of upcoming Trinidad artists sometimes you find that um, you know people don't really take them seriously until they have this big hit. So do well, you think that that I that, believe that is mm-hmm. applied to everything, you know? Right. Everything. So work. It, it could be what is as long as you get through is when people just really start to see you. Yeah. And did that happen to you? Well, yeah, somewhat, yeah, because I just hear all my music playing on the radio and things. That music I never send on the radio mm. and it is played, you know. And when I now start, I remember going and begging the radio to play my music and... Nothing. Feel, yeah. 
and which song changes that entire perspective and put you on that more them want right. so if a war them want we ready like Freddy Big or Shelly Chrome 9 pop up on your belly and same place we walk we left your death it on smelly more if than one drop that was the first dance all song I drop like that people gravitate to that one time I don't know if it's because of the, the, the style of the song or the sound of my voice or what it was but everybody gravitated to that song when I sang it. What's the inspiration behind that song, boy? I must ask. Hmm. Because what are the lyrics when I okay, like that is how I actually discovered you. <laughs> so that is actually I like where, lyrics. I yeah. like lyrics. Right. You know? I don't like to say what everybody's saying. Mm-hmm. I just try my best to think outside of the box. But that is also for a lot of time into writing. We're gonna move on to the next sauce, which is the Alvin's hot sauce. Which is an and actually award winning sauce actually. Yeah? Alvin actually, he was born in Trinidad and Tobago, but he grew up in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Have I been yeah. to U.S. Virgin Islands? I haven't been there. I would like to do. He had a visit to U.S. Virgin Saint Islands. St. Croix and beautiful place. St. Thomas. Well, let me try it out now. Yeah, man, for sure, for sure. Hmm, this one looking spicy, man. Today's our award-winning sauce, and man win one set of awards. Alvin was serious about, just like you serious about the Grammy, Alvin was serious about the awards as well. Coughing over it, boy. Oh my gosh, pressure. The heat kicking up. My good, I good. You're good? Yeah. You sure you're good, boy? So why coughing then? Not like us, you know? Corona. Corona. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That's a real arm. You know, I must say I feel safe and you know, I feel I'm really, really happy about that. <laughs> If we need some milk, you could, you could have some, you could have nah, some that, water. Nah, that, 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 that pepper tastes like Corona for me. Eh? <laughs> pepper taste. Do you know how does Corona taste? Tell me how, <laughs> how does Corona taste? Well, it's a, it's a nice beer, it's a nice beer. Oh, yeah. you like that? <laughs> Talking about Corona and the, and the COVID-19 pandemic that we're going through right now, indeed uh, a challenging time for all creatives, all songwriters, musicians, um, how are you using your dumb time to stay active? What are you doing? You're writing, you're singing, studio sessions, you're home. What are you doing? Well, what I gotta say is I don't really want to be leaving my home too much, is it? Mm-hmm. Are you lucky or you're going to come here today, right. you know? Because you're a hot one, you know? You're a hot one, I'm a hot one, we're all hot ones. So okay. you must come, come now, man. But, I must say, I'm grateful for all the rest I gain now. Because, when I, when I had now start to do shows every weekend and thing, it used to take a real big toll on me. Like the pepper taking a toll on you right now, that way you're drinking so much yes, water. Yes. I showed you the most water you drink for the day. <laughs> now that one Pressure. where we now eat it here, he started to register different as I swallow it now. That is a hot one until it's an award winning Woo! flavor, that's why it's happening. It is hard to stay inspired, you know, throughout the pandemic, be home all the time. How do you yeah. stay inspired? By listening to new music. Yeah, a like lot what type of music it is listen to? I I listen a little, a little rap sometimes. You know, I, 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 well only recently I, I just listen a little hip hop and thing. Right. But um, I mostly like reggae music. And well, I go listen dance all every day because I try to keep up with my peers and them. And yeah, that is it. But reggae music is is the music I love the most. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, Trinidad and Tobago. Like, comment and subscribe. Alright, moving right along with the next pepper sauce. We call this one the Sizzler by Caribbean Flavors. Wow, the Sizzler. Get that name. Because you want to fire up your taste buds, that's why. Sure, that don't mean danger or some kind of thing? Like, do danger, not, like danger. Do not dunk the whole <laughs> wing. <laughs> let me go, let me dunk the whole thing now, man. Right, let me try that. Let me, let me dip that. the whole thing, let me go. I'm going in with you. Shucks. This looks scary. Don't worry, man, you have it. Ready when you're ready? I'm ready, let me go. Talk 
to me. Mm -hmm. This one more tasty than the last one. I realize what each one is. <clears throat> My word. I really needed some enjoy milk. That one hit it. But I realized with each wing, again, less and less words from your boy. Yeah, well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Pepper taking it, told him. Taking it. Mm -hmm. But I can manage it, man. Don't worry yourself. With this pepper sauce, is Caribbean based. Tell me, where have you been in the Caribbean? I have been to Grenada. Mm -hmm. I've been to Barbados. And I've also been to St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where out of these places is your favorite? What makes it your favorite? I wouldn't say my favorite. I like all of them. Don't worry, don't worry. I hold there. I know the pepper catching up with you, and we're not even technically we only half there. But I really like St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. The people, the people, and the way they just talk, mm -hmm. like they just use we words. Right. But there is song funny saying we words now. There's some kind of like a Jamaican talking Chinese. Right. You know, I just like to hear that. Barbados, I doesn't really understand too much as others that'll be like, what you say? We know said the doggy, huh? Like how I understand that one. Like how I trying to understand you right now. With it. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm Asian. Yeah, yeah. Man, you can't you confuse me, man. You confuse me. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, you know, Trinidad, you know, we have a lot of city-based places, you know, a lot of lot of roads, you know, everything busy, you know, to get to the beach, you to take a little drive to get there. Tobago is more like, you know, the island, more vacation, kind mm. of friendly, etc. And I know that you've performed a number of times in Tobago. I did. Right? I did. T tell me about some of your experiences performing in Tobago. Well, I would say the biggest crowd I've ever performed for was in Tobago for a show named Island Crashers. Mm -hmm. I know that. And yo, that was an experience. That was like explosive because at the point in time, um, I had a song named Bang Bang was real hot. Real, real hot too. Sing a line in the song, song. for man, man. Come now, man. If a boy violate my raval is bang. bang. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, um, all right. Yeah, that's, that song was hot, like mm -hmm. the pepper at, at the time. So it was a nice experience. The people, them, gave me real energy, real, real energy. And I was seeing champagne popping from my side and just spraying all over the place. It was it was nice. So in other words, it was, it was a hot one. <clears throat> Like, yeah. Definitely need to pull up that performance, wow. but I can just imagine. That pepper start to... It burning. It burning. Woo, start to feel it here, little... Yeah, oh gosh. Wipe your face if you need to. <laughs> or wine a little bit if you need to. Drink some water I mean, if you just need Just now, just now the, um, the milk has got to start to run down, you know? And like how them churn, them will suck the tongue and that's not running down on the drum. Right. <laughs> them love so just now. So, when you're in Tobago, after performing and all that high energy performances, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do to unwind while in Tobago? To unwind? Yeah, unwind. But I really like to wine, you know, so I don't oh. really unwind too much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wine to the side, can I like Benjai, can I wait? <coughs> nah. I like to, um, I like to, most of the time, just really hang with my friends and them, you mm -hmm. know, take a little drink and talk, you know. We're gonna move on to the next pepper sauce right now, our very own pepper sauce right here at Tempo, the House of Tempo. Oh, really? You'll have a pepper. Because you know, right now, not only are your lips fired up, but everything is fired up right now. The music is fired up, the culture is fired up, and Tempo is all about promoting Caribbean culture and showcasing what we have right here in the Caribbean. So you want to take the Tempo That's up a little bit. Like some hot pepper, you. you feel it ready? <clears throat> I ready when you're ready, buddy. Let me go now, man. I ready long time. <laughs> Bottoms up. There we go. Look at you. What are you doing? I ain't seen you drinking no water yet, so I assume that's a good sign. You're halfway there. The tempo is officially raised now. And your eyes getting a little red over there, boy. Yeah, this one. <laughs> wow. At the beginning of the show, we asked to do this, but it wow. did it naturally now. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. 
Typical yep. Caribbean freezer. Oh shims. Woo! Oh shucks. And Bobby does still say, oh cheese or bread. <laughs> Damn it. This pepper is really hot. That's what the tempo hot this sauce tempo does. This tempo pepper. The tempo has some hot pepper. Go we'll get one to carry. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah, I mean. In an interview recently with Overtime Media, mega international superstar Sean Paul took note of Trinidad music. But he did say that Trinidad artists need to balance their lyrical content and be a bit more versatile. What's your take on this? Well, I believe that he needs to listen a little more because there are a lot of us who sing different kinds of music like myself I will use as, as an example I mean if I ask you what's your favorite song from Jelano what would you say never let me down I told you that yeah. and that's I a love that song. that's a conscious song it's a dancehall song but it's a conscious dancehall song you know so it's not only about the violence and the you know the little badness and thing over the vicinity of artists that just be trying to sing this kind of music this positive music too but it's as it's as far as it is rich you know, look, even Sean Paul in here, in it. All he hear in is the badness, you know. Mm. So that tells me that, you know, the people who promote any music <clears throat> really need to kind of give a little more insight into the artist's music and see we have good content that you could also promote and push and tell somebody about. You know what I mean? Is it that you'd like to sing more of positive music? I do. I really, really do. I started off singing reggae music which is mostly positive music and it never really reached nowhere you know but it never stopped me from doing it it, de it never discouraged me from doing it it's just hurt me to know that that is the way the world is now you know mm -hmm. and do you think collaborations with different <coughs> international dancehall artists will help the trinidad movement of course of course the exposure remember these these artists on the outside they have their platform with their following mm -hmm. you know they have they have um out of point they they out in foreign it have a different it have a different way that is deal with music mm -hmm. you know than to in the Caribbean and thing it have a more wider industry yeah so it has reach more people when you're doing music which is like hip hop and or you collaborate with these kind of artists you will reach more people because of the platform you know what I mean and on an international level who would you like to collaborate with Jalan? like anybody yeah. Um, I would really like to do a collaboration with Sizzla Kalonji. That is like my favorite artist. It would it would be a dream come true to do a song with Sizzla Kalonji. Yeah, wonderful. We definitely look forward to that collaboration. Yes, we can. Solano featuring Sizzla Kalonji. Yeah, that's a hot one. Hey, This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the U.S. Virgin Islands. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by Popeyes. So we're gonna move on now to the next pepper sauce. Let's do, let's do. The Bertie's original pepper sauce, boy. Bertie Marshall. That smells real spicy. Spicy. I'm afraid to eat this one. That's... The Trini Bad Man himself. This one thicker than the rest of them. Boy. Let's go. Just a thick sauce in other words. Mm -hmm. You like thick sauce? You like thick sauce? I love them thick, but I love, I love my, my sauces, that is. You love them thick? I love them thick. Yeah. I love them thick too. I like a little meat on my bone now, like how Zams is giving these meat on the bone. A little meat on the bone never hurt nobody. I don't even want for bone. So, <laughs> so you want meat then? You just want more meat than rice, in other words, Yeah, meat, meat good for me. Meat good for you? Mm -hmm. We have a segment on the show called the What You Know segment. There is my segment here. We are testing knowledge of different people who come on the show to see what you know. But there are some rules, Jelano. What, what is that? Well, I see your mouth burning up there. In this segment. For each question you answer incorrectly, mm -hmm. you have to take an extra dip. 
Are you serious? If you answered correctly, I, I take the extra So Serious? All right, let's go. All right. This is the first question, Jelano. If when you were 11 years old, your sister was twice your age, when you're 66, how old will your sister be? 10 seconds. Um... One... Thirty-two? Can you find an answer? One... Twenty-two? Can you find an answer? Uh, Try a tick number. One twenty-two. Jelano, you have just won yourself an extra dip. Your sister will be seventy-seven, man. <laughs> when he was eleven, she was twenty-two. Yeah. So when he was sixty-six, she'd be seventy-seven. What are the dip this in? The milk? In the same pepper in the Bertie's <laughs> original hot sauce. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So take your dip, take your bite, and let's move on to the next question. The team will get you, boy. Will it get you? I'm telling you. Now for the second question. It's a two-part question. Sing the first line in the national anthem of Trinidad and Tobago. Forge from the love. The first line. Sing it. Forge from the love. Of liberty. All right, all right. That was the first part of the question. The second part. What is the title of the national anthem of Trinidad and Tobago? Title. Mhm. Mm the national anthem. There's a title. The title of the song. Like how your song have titles. What? Oh. Want. Um. I really Come don't. Come from nothing. I really can't answer that question. So you're gonna take a next step then. I feel I might have a different. All right. The title of the national anthem of Trinidad and Tobago is "Forge from the Love of Liberty," boy. Somebody can hit him for me, please. <laughs> you could have hint me something. So if you didn't uh, know, well, what I know is now you know you gotta take a next dip. Oh, shucks. And this is the final question here. Do you know the song, I Feeling Hot, Hot, Hot? Yeah. Where's that artist from? The artist that sang the song, Arrow. Where is he from? Trinidad. I Feeling Hot, Hot, Hot. I Feeling Hot, Hot, Hot. Ch he that. is from Montserrat, boy. Take a next dip now, man. <laughs> Final dip here. Jelano, that was the What You Know segment. Have you found out that one? I know. Jelano didn't know much. This is this Papa Real Hood. I know. Bertie, you, 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 you're on top of the charts with this here. Wow. It actually tastes good, though. It actually tastes good, but it's spicy. Yeah, well it's a little spicy, it just hit the spot. That's what we do at the hot ones. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by B Mobile. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by Unipet. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna move on to the scorpion pepper right now, which is actually one of the hottest peppers in the world. And it's right here from Trinidad and Tobago. The scorpion pepper actually registers 1.2 million on the Scoville scale, which is actually 230 times hotter than a jalapeno. Gelano, are you ready? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to the Matooks Trinidad scorpion pepper. How it smell it? Oh, shucks. Yeah. Smell it hot. There we go, that man. This one. You got some of this. I feel it already. What I probably the previous now. Like where you feeling it? Mostly in this area. Yeah. In this area, yeah. Alright. Well, tonight it might not really be that area. It might be another area. Yeah, you had to remind, right? Yeah, you yeah. just had to remind. Let me go, man. Mm. Alright, that's just unfair. Pressure. I'll drink one well for this one. I can't drink one for this one. Oh, shucks. Pressure. Woo! Oh, God. 
That was a hot one. Well, the war, the war has turned on Jelano. Jelano, what just happened there, boy? I don't know. Why do you run out of the room? The scorpions sting you. I tell you that how the scorpion is doing, man. It's sting you hard. That, that is really scorpion, pepper, I swear. And they match up everything. <laughs> How many you, you, you break the button, all kind of thing. Ignore a camera. It's a tear. That was a hot one. Jolano, we have a recurring segment on this show called Explain That Grammar, powered by B Mobile. And it's a segment that we do a deep dive into your Instagram, find mm-hmm. some images that we think need some more context, and you explain it to us. You ready? Alright. Alright. There <coughs> we go. So you're going on my Instagram. On your Instagram. And look for my pictures. This is image number one here. It's inspiration behind that tattoo, boy. Well, that is one of our hilltop entertainment logos. Okay. It's a panda with red eyes. Right. The panda high. Or well, you can say he he eat some pepper. Okay. Yeah. Which pepper he eat? He eat what I know he does now. Oh, <laughs> the one with the Trinidad scorpion pepper. Yeah, the one that does make it yeah, mash up everything. Okay. And it is and and is it that you just need this to remain close to you as a as a you know? Well, yeah. Where you came I from? took it to show my loyalty to the brand. Wonderful. You know what I mean? I am hilt up forever. Next step. Wonderful. Tell me about your fashion selections here. In this image, right. what are you thinking about here? <clears throat> well, day I was wondering why it is they're taking so much pictures of me, you know. Right. But that was a shoot, a shoot I did for the hideout clothing. Okay. Yeah, they were releasing a new collection and they made me one of their models. Wonderful. So the man is not only a singer, a songwriter, a composer, the man is also a model. Jelano for your money. <laughs> this is the next image here. It's actually the uh, the cover for one of your songs here. Mm-hmm. What did you find as the perfect woman, Jelano? <clears throat> the perfect woman? Yeah. In this uh, cover here. Perfect Jelano woman. Perfect. perfect woman. It was the perfect woman for Jelano. Perfect but... woman. I believe the perfect woman is a woman who close to God. Okay. And could be supportive of the significant other in whatever it is they do that is perfect to me that's the perfect woman so it doesn't have anything to do with looks or anything like that um i mean i don't want a werewolf you know but <laughs> that is not the main thing now but you know right it could go besides that somebody don't have to just be looking good for you to have a a, a good life for them you know absolutely no werewolf be no werewolf. supportive we can live with that. Don't be a werewolf. Be supportive. Yeah. Be a woman of God. Come on. That's a hot one. Yeah, man. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts, Trinidad and Tobago. Well, I want to take you to Barbados for a third time with the old duppy hot fire pooch pepper old sauce. Old duppy? Old duppy. So you yeah, just turn into old duppy when you eat this? I'm telling you. Fire pooch. Fire pooch. This it means that it's really hot. Well, fire in the pooch though, really sound pleasant. You know, so, you know, Where do you think when I have fire pooch, boy? I don't even want to think about it. Wow. It's hot. Can it's I, steamy. Can I smell like a fire pooch? Where's a fire pooch? Uh, so, yeah. Let me, let me just figure out what I'm going to try it out now. Alright. I am so scared right now. You're breathing hard. Beware with the bottles this time, right? Don't break another one. I'm going to just, I'm just sit down. Step back a little bit before like you try. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. There you go. Hi. Right. Yeah, we doing this thing again. You yeah, the voice, voice girl. I know you have a studio session after. I think you'll be able to um, to sing a new song. How about ten? All right. One for each bottle. <clears throat> I know you um. I know you come from struggle. 
Oh, shucks. Real struggle happening here. Oh, sh pressure. What's going on right now? I see you drinking that enjoy milk, boy. What happened to nobody? This Talk pepper is hot. This wow. <laughs> Walk. Walk me through exactly what's going through your mind right now. All right, I really thought this scorpion was hot, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. At the beginning of the interview, you said he wouldn't take off the hat. But I guess it's it's hot now. Mm -hmm. So most of the music then is actually, you know, is actually reality, you know. Jelano is actually singing about reality. And when oh, one of your songs come from nothing, that really defines your life. Yes, it does. It is actually a song that I had a long time now, since even before I sang What Them Want, which was the first one to bust. I had come from nothing already, pen, but not the full song, like just the graph where I come from nothing, don't try to touch my button, long time I suffer now I will eat like a glutton, you dig? Mm. So I just always had them words there and when I sung it from management and they heard it, they, they did real well love it, so they kind of encouraged me to finish writing the song. Absolutely. And that is one of my most famous songs today. And thank you so much for sharing some of the lyrics with us. Some of the lyrics in the song actually state that me now sing every like them other artists. Which artists are you referring to when you, when you um, say that you sing every? Um, I wouldn't call no names, but to me, it has, it has some artists that really be on the on the freeze, you know. In a recent Loop TT interview, you said that Sizzler is one of your biggest musical inspirations. Mm -hmm. Why so? Because of his content. His content, his energy, his distribution, his, he to me is a, 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 a complete entertainer, mm -hmm. right? When he's on stage, he do, he do get just a hundred, he's get a hundred plus. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he has kind of inspired me to want to do my thing that way because right. the energy he does put out is, I mean, I haven't gone to a lot of concerts, but I've seen Sizzler perform already. And I watch a lot of... <coughs> <That's> <coughs> <not> <coughs> I already trying to fight the cough now. It's alright. <coughs> yeah. Pressure over there, boy. It's sizzling. Yeah. That's what the old coffee does do. Mm. It's but think and dirty. What I would say is that Sizzler, as an entertainer, he has this energy that he does give on the stage. That it's just so brilliant. It's just so brilliant to watch it. You know, it doesn't be too much a thing. He does not run up and down like a madman, but the energy and his projection, mm -hmm. it just off the chain. So how do you battle between the desire of wanting to do the positive music, knowing that it would not be accepted or hit as much as the as the truly bad music, the typical truly bad music? <clears throat> well, I will say that reggae music is my, is my passion. Mm -hmm. You know, conscious music is something that I want to see myself excelling in. So regardless of the regardless of the fact that when I sing the more hardcore dance or music, the people tend to take to that more. I not going to let that phase me and I'm not going to let that stop me. I have dreams and goals in what I do just like everybody else. And my dream is for the day to reach that I am an influencer in a positive way mm -hmm. to the people. Thank you so much for sharing a bit about your dream, man. I definitely know we are the hot ones, Caribbean here. We know that you definitely can achieve that dream, man. You know what connected with me while he was speaking is that how you always give your all, just like Sizzler gives his all. Yeah, man. Um, and everything that you're doing, you don't go 50%, you don't go 60%, mm -hmm. you give 100%. And that's why I want to move to the next pepper sauce, which is the 100% scorpion pepper, habanero pepper sauce. Aye. So we don't want to go 60 50 percent we're going to move on to the habanero 100 percent trinidad <coughs> scorpion pepper the, the final sauce you think you're ready mm -mm. you make it to the end i know gelano is a man it's not a scorpion now, now make me show down everything they just know they? And know this Gelano's is 100 percent scorpion now, so scorpion I know, sorry i know gelano is a man that's pushed through the struggle you know so you're gonna push through the struggle <laughs> So you're gonna push through the struggle with me on this final sauce? Let's do it. We made it. Hmm, this sauce is not thick nothing. It just can't run all over the thing. Uh, ready when you're ready. Alright, let's go.
What are we doing over there? I know he's in no more that way. That was the final, that was the final one. Eh? Go and finish the ring, but what they say, you like, you like all the meat. You don't like no board. Oh, God. <coughs> Pritchard. Mm-hmm. Jalano, share some words of inspiration. Oh, shucks. That's not... Give me, give me two minutes, eh? Mm-hmm. Having that enjoyment. One... Do ever eat that pepper if you do have this milk. Yeah. Okay. So you need to have that enjoyment. Yeah. With these ass wings. Ooh, Mix the combination. Shucks. That is the hottest pepper I ever taste in my life. Wow. Oh, shucks. That one's stinging. I'm telling you. Well, this is the hot moment brought to you by Andrews. Really things getting heated over there, boy. In your song, Melodies of Love, which was released very close to Valentine's Day, we saw a different side of Jelano. Yes. Who did you have in mind writing this song, Jelano? Hmm. A pineapple. I was thinking about a pineapple. What I'm going to say is um, I have my, <clears throat> my girlfriend. We had just... I believe we had just started dating and thing. Mm-hmm. So the song itself always Valentine's was coming. I tell myself, well, mm-hmm. you know, why not just make mm-hmm. this about her, you know? Right. So Pun did come and check me and he came with two rhythms. And one of them was the rhythm for melodies I love. And when I heard it, I was like, I want to sing something real nice for Mama and this. You know, and it was melodies I love, you know. I put any video with me and it, she was well pleased with it. I mean, imagine why I get into it. Mm-hmm. What, what, what did you get? Milk. Milk? Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that milk. I did. Jolano, thank you so much <laughs> for coming to the show. You've made it to the final wing. So now I'm going to roll out the red carpet for you and we're going to give you an uninterrupted 30 seconds to tell the people what's going on in your life. This camera, this camera, this camera, and this camera. Jolano, you take it away. So, my people, this is Jolano, the voice of the ghetto youths. And it was a pleasure to be on this show today with this guy, Daniel. Today, um, anyone trying to reach Jolano can contact me at Jolano on Instagram. You can contact me by via management, Dai Media, or Hilltop Entertainment. And for all who want to know my music, you could just search Jalano on any musical platform and you will see my stuff. Yeah. Voice to the get to you. Jaja never let me down. Ooh, he keeps me afloat when it's me alone and the wicked wanna sink my boat. Jaja never let me down. Okay. Yeah. That was Jelano. That was a hot one. My name is Daniel Loveless and thank you for checking out another episode of Hot One Scarabian. See you next time. Okay. All of this, all of this, all of this. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> don't, don't be sorry, brother. Don't be sorry. It hit you. It's the scorpion, I just think. The scorpion skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This edition of Hot Ones Caribbean is brought to you by the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts, Trinidad and Tobago. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know you are a We are we are we are chat, we